Mankind's greatest achievements have come from an innate curiosity to know how the world works, giving rise to new ways of thinking and changes in perception. The earliest efforts to manipulate nature led to the rise of civilizations and the beginnings of abstract thought. From mathematical representations of the world around us to the radical concept of a universe made out of atoms. After 1500 years of darkness, the dawn of our modern era began. The scientific method with precise mathematics applied to the physical world revolutionized our understanding of the universe. The exploration of the innermost structure of nature led to unprecedented heights in discoveries, inventions, and technological advancement. The age of particle physics had begun. Electromagnetism, radiation and light were unified with space and time. A subatomic structure was discovered and a revolutionary new set of laws brought order to this unruly particle world. With the rise of big science and monumental breakthroughs in theory, the 20th century has pushed our comprehension of how nature works to incredible new heights. At the start of the new millennium, one final piece, the most amazing of them all, will complete an astonishing new picture of our universe. We live in a particle universe. Everything we see and even things we don't see. An infinite number of combinations from a handful of elementary particles. We can begin to understand the secrets of this subatomic world by exploring this simple helium balloon. It contains every element that all matter is made of. Within this balloon are millions upon millions of helium atoms. Every one of these helium atoms consists of a positively charged nucleus circled by two negatively charged electrons. On the outer edge of the atom, we encounter the electron. The negatively charged electron is our first elementary particle. An elementary particle is a single point of energy that, as far as we know, has no further substructure. As we journey deeper and deeper into the heart of the atom, we encounter the nucleus. The nucleus of the helium atom contains two positively charged protons and two neutrons which have no charge. They consist of elementary particles called quarks, which are classified as either up or down. The up quark and the down quark are different in their mass and electric charge. The proton consists of two up quarks and one down quark. The neutron consists of two down quarks and one up quark. Nature has also shown us that each quark shifts. It has been discovered that in actuality there are three different varieties of up and down quarks. They have been classified as red, green, and blue. In dissecting the helium atom, we discover that there are seven different elementary particles that make up matter. The electron, three up quarks, and three down quarks. However, when matter becomes unstable, new particles are created.
Through the study of radiation, an eighth elementary particle was first discovered. The uranium atom is over 50 times bigger than the helium atom. When an atom is that big, it becomes quite unstable and occasionally a neutron will fall off the nucleus. The moment the neutron is separated and isolated from the nucleus, it quickly decays into a proton. A proton is lighter than a neutron and positively charged. According to the laws of conservation, the change in charge and the loss of mass have to be accounted for. From Einstein's equation, E equals mc squared, we know that energy and mass are directly related. The missing mass from the neutron is released as energy, which was discovered to be in the form of two particles. The first particle released from the neutron was found to be a negatively charged electron. The second particle released was called the neutrino. The electrically neutral neutrino is our eighth elementary particle. The decay process of a neutron into a proton is radiation. The electron and the neutrino, together with the up and down quarks, we have our first family of particles that begins to fill the picture of the standard model of our universe. By having dissected our present day matter, nature has shown us three very important lessons that energy and mass are the same, that nature always conserves energy and charge, and most interestingly, that given enough energy, nature creates particles. The question becomes, given the energy present in our sun and highly energetic events in our universe, such as supernovas and quasars, what other particles has nature yet to reveal? To answer that, we must start creating particles.